The Python code that displays a Fibonacci series contains a great deal of language constructs. It contains strings in lines 2 and 3. Operators like the less or equal in line 5, or the plus in line 7. Control structures like the while loop in line 5. In this video, we focus on strings. Strings are an essential element of Python. They can be defined by enclosing them in double quotes, or in single quotes. Let's define and print a string. If a string is defined within single quotes, any single quote appearing within the string must be escaped by a backslash. If the single quote is not escaped, the Python interpreter will raise a syntax error. If we add the escape backslash in front of the single quote, the correct string is printed. Single and double quotes can be nested or escaped. This is simply a matter of taste. New lines are produced by inserting a backslash followed by n. If a long string contains a great deal of special characters like quotes and backslashes, an R can be prefixed to it so that it is recognized as a raw string. Let's write a string containing two lines. As mentioned, the new line is produced by inserting a backslash followed by n. Let us now turn this string into a raw string by prefixing the string with R. The string is now printed as a single line. Strings spanning multiple lines can be obtained by enclosing them in between groups of three double or single quotes. A new line is added at the end of each line. To prevent this, a backslash character can be inserted at the end of a line. Strings can be joined into a single string by using the plus operator. Alternatively, they are automatically concatenated if they are one after each other. Strings can also be repeated by using a product operator. That is an asterisk preceded by the desired number of repetitions. Long strings can be broken down and put within round brackets. In Python strings are essentially immutable lists of characters. An individual character can be returned by indicating its index into square brackets. The first character of a string is at position 0. Since strings are immutable, if you try to assign a value to an index position in the string, a type error will be raised. The length of a string can be obtained by using the len operator. Strings and numbers cannot be directly concatenated via the plus operator. Numbers must be first converted to string using the str function. If you try to concatenate a string and a number, a type error is raised. The error can be avoided by converting the number to a string via the str function. Finally, the round function is often useful to produce neat printed string when numbers have several decimal figures. The function takes two inputs, the number or variable to be rounded, and the number of decimal figures that should be retained. 